Hello my friends. Today we're going to look at another radio. Uh, again, this is going to be one of my brief short reviews that I usually like to do. Keep them short and quick and easy, that way I don't bore you to death. And just give you the basic information that you're looking for to see if this radio is worth it or not. So today we're going to be looking at the Redivis RT85. Um, it's a 200 channel radio. It's a UHF, VHF obviously. Uh, so I've got it programmed with uh, my selection of programs. I do have it on MERS. I have GMRS on it and of course ham bands. Uh, what's nice is I had traveled recently and I took this and I put uh, VHF marine bands on it as well so I could listen to them. Because you have 200 memories you have plenty of room to put it in. Now I also have the uh, cousin radio to this one and although I'm calling it a cousin I think uh, that quite honestly it's not a cousin, but actually a twin, just different parents. This is marketed as a TYT uh, UV88, also very standard and available pretty much everywhere. You can find it on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, and all the other sites. The antennas are a little bit different that came on them. They did come with a different antenna. This is actually not the original antenna that came on this radio. I actually put this on. This is a Wook, Wookshan, Wookshan antenna. It does have an SMA male connection so I can't use a lot of my Baofeng antennas on it. I pretty much have another set of these antennas that I like to use. And this antenna measured pretty good on my uh, VNA so I put that on there. The TYT has the antenna that came with it originally. Radios are pretty much identical in functionality. They're also identical as far as memories and everything and the programming. I mean I programmed the TYT with the Redivis RT85. Both these radios actually are rated more than 5 watts and in fact both of them actually measured somewhere around 6.7 to 7 watts alternately. So uh, as far as functionality is concerned that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now to stick back to the Redivis it has a pretty nice screen, large characters so it's easy to read. Uh, it also will put up the name and your memory position. You can alternate obviously between VFO and memories and having 200 makes it nice. Now it has the standard buttons so it, you have your push to talk and your two additional buttons you can program. Still has a flashlight for some reason. Um, there's a signal coming through on one of my repeaters that I'm logged into. Uh, standard K connector, so it uses the two, um, two wire connector, the two pin connector. And this battery is actually not the original battery to this radio. And if you notice, this battery actually has a USB-C connector. The radio comes with a base connector. Like most of them, you get the little cradle. But in this particular case, this battery is actually from a Baofeng UV13 Pro which is also the same battery that goes on the 15 I think and the 16. Now, I bought these extra batteries for my UV13s off Amazon I will put a link down below um, but they're actually the same exact fit and that way I have the ability to take this portable whenever I need to and it has a USB connector that way I don't have to lug a cradle and try to plug it in the car or do something like that with it I can just charge it directly through my USB in, in the vehicle. Um, it's a nice radio. I like the feel of this radio. It's good in the hand. It's pretty solid. It feels robust. I've dropped it once or twice and I've seen absolutely no damage to it. Uh, would I use this instead of a Baofeng? Well, I don't. I alternate. I got a dozen radios. I just play with them depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I want a little smaller radio like a UV5R which works just as well. And sometimes I'll take this one. I do have alternate antennas that I can put that are a little bit longer for a little bit better reach. Although I've never had a problem with this one. I hit repeaters around my area. Um, I'm probably 10 to 15 miles away. So I don't have major issues with it. It's a nice little radio. And again, there's the alternate. It's the TYT UV88, which is again the same radio. Basically, so you get two of them. Now one of the interesting things about these radios, and I'm not sure why they have it on there, both these radios actually have scrambling function on it, which by the way is illegal to use, but it does have a scramble function, so if you want to add that on for 
I don't know, if you're in a very, very remote area and it's not going to be anywhere else, well, it's there. Again, remember, it's illegal to use. So for playing around, I guess if you want to test it, it does scramble. It can be descrambled, by the way, so don't imagine that you'll get total privacy or total secrecy. If you like this little video and you'd like to see more of these little short videos, please subscribe, leave comments, uh, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the video, and that'll help me uh, sort of keep making these little short videos. I like to keep them short, that way not bore you and just give you only the facts that you want to hear. Thanks for watching.